Hey everybody, Monica King here. So, um, this is something that's extremely important. Um, home maintenance. Prevent the beehives from even establishing and then you won't have the problem with bees. So basically they like any void where has an entrance or an opening um, the, the size of a pencil eraser, not that one, that one, that small. If they can squeeze through something that small that opens up into a void, that's a potential home for them. So one of the most popular spots that I do bee removals from are in the soffits of ranch style homes. So the soffit is literally a breezeway for the home to breathe. And so it allows air to escape, the hot air to escape and has like a cooling effect on the home. So basically it's between the rafters. There is a plate, a pl um, usually like a two by four or a uh, four by six or, you know, it's usually not a four by six. What am I talking about? A two by two by four or a two by six. I've seen them as big as two by 10 type, two by 12. I mean, sometimes the voids are only this big and sometimes the voids are this big, but they don't care. The bees get into them and they build. So what you're gonna see is um, multiple removals done from these areas, but you're also gonna see what you can do to prevent them in the future. One is get yourself some good quality outdoor caulk. Um, caulk all those areas that have holes. Anything, like I said, that's this or bigger. Um, if it's really big and the caulk doesn't wanna stay or is shrinks in there or whatever, um, steel wool. Yeah, steel wool. Don't use the expanding foam spray. Bees can chew through it. Doesn't work. Don't use that. Use steel wool to seal any holes. And last but not least, let me go get something for you. Okay, so in some of those holes, um, the construction company that originally built your home or your maintenance man or yourself may have used um, a screen, kind of like a window screen to patch all of these holes all around your house. Bad idea. Birds peck through that and then birds make a nest. And then when the bird is no longer there, the bees move in. So basically you want something thicker than window screen. You want like a galvanized mesh or you want a hardware cloth, which is steel mesh type thing. But anyway, it needs to be eighth inch or number eight hardware cloth or eighth inch or smaller. Um, you'll see in this video, some construction crew or whatever used um, larger and you could pass this through it. A bee can get through it. Quarter inch, a bee can get through it. Needs to be eighth inch. So anytime you see any damage to any of your soffit uh, areas, those holes, or even around the, the plate, the wood plate that blocks that area, anything around that needs to be fixed. So what I did do is on these um, images, I went through and did red circles um, on areas that would need to be maintenance, have maintenance done to them in order to prevent a beehive. You don't want to pay a beekeeper to remove an Africanized hive from your, uh, your eaves. Stop the bees from having to come to begin with. I know it's a lot of work. If there's so much that you just say, screw it, I'm not gonna do it, then chances are there is a possibility that you will get a beehive in your soffits. So, one thing I wanna point out is how the bees build comb in that structure, in that area. It'll just be a hive, combs, just laid out beautifully, and you'll see that in the photos. Um, just rows and rows and rows of comb. We've had it to where it's been so long down the, top, the roof that we couldn't even reach it. We've had it to where we had to go in from the inside drywall of the ceiling 
in order to get to the soffit area to remove the beehives. Prevention. That's number one, prevention. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this video. Um, we, we, wanna, we wanna do a lot more with um, having to help the homeowners prevent beekeepers from having to come in and do the Africanized bee removals because literally, you know, Southern Arizona, it gets to be 110 degrees. Yeah, we do bee removals at night for safety and containment, but who wants to be in their bee suit at night when it's still like 80 degrees outside? It's nasty. It's hot, so hot. You're in awkward positions for long periods of time trying to remove the comb. Your back hurts. You get in late hours because you don't get to start till 7.30 is when the sun goes down. You might not finish and get home till 2.30 in the morning. And guess what? You need to wake up early in the morning to work our own bees. It's not something that is cost effective for us to be doing. So um, we could do so much more with our own hives, keep them healthier, um, do much more at our own apiary, but we offer this service to save the bees. Thank you for watching.